be me, be 16, around 2000, wasn't an outcast but wasn't a popular kid either, kinda did my own thing really, shared world history with this kid, his name was Greg, and this was his fall from grace and into autism, Greg at this point was quiet, and reserved, never did anything to get bullied, especially after Columbine, all that was going to change soon, Friday he was totally fine, that Monday, apparently Greg's parents had bought him a computer, and an internet connection, oh, how two days can change a man, he obviously hadn't showered at all since Friday, he didn't really pay attention during class and was mostly drawing in his notebook, his smell was palpable, the bell finally rang, Greg collected his things and headed for the door, not before he bumped into a guy named Mike, Mike was not pleased with Greg's odor, Jesus Greg, you fucking reek, Greg stood silent for a moment, and then he did it, he fucking growled at Mike, Mike just pushed Greg out of the way and made his way into the hallway and walked to his next class, the rest of the kids gave Greg a strange room for the rest of the day, Tuesday, apparently Greg didn't do his homework the night before, instead he bought a grey hoodie, and some cloth, and sewed some years to the hood, at least he showered this time, thankfully, the teacher was this really nice vegan lady from Oregon, she was a little pushy with homework but that was it really. She asked for homework to be passed up front. Everyone had theirs in. Greg? Where's your homework? Silence. Greg? She approached his desk. The room was strangely tense. Before this Greg was a good student. Greg? She reached out for a piece of paper she assumed was his homework. And then he snapped at her. Not like screaming or yelling. But he tried to bite her. You could actually hear the clack of his teeth. The teacher gasped. Greg just got up and Naruto ran out of the room. No one had seen such a thing before and we were really taken aback by him trying to bite the teacher, but the way he ran. The teacher called security. No one saw Greg for the rest of the day until one of the stoner kids reported seeing Greg in after school detention. Apparently he got on a table, curled up into a ball and tried to nap. The Indian man in charge didn't care enough to bother him. Wednesday. Greg apparently wanted to make it up to the teacher. Unfortunately she was a little late because her Ford broke down. One of the football players brought her to campus on his motorcycle. She had what was left of a bug on her cheek that she missed. She walked into class 10 minutes after class started. She apologized for her being late. Greg walked up to her. Hood up. Shitty cloth ears flopping. She looked at him puzzled. Is there something you want to tell me Greg? She was probably hoping for an apology. Greg grabbed her face. He had folded notebook paper in his hand, pulled her close to his, and licked her cheek, and the bug guts too. The whole class went dead silent. Greg then tucked the paper into her breast pocket and sat back down. The teacher, as a testament to her character, pretended that never happened. The class went on as normal. She looked shaky and on the verge of tears the entire time while we were talking about the boxer rebellion. When the bell rang again, Greg bolted full Naruto style out of the room. His hoodie came loose and fell off, revealing a really shitty attempt at anime hair. I didn't see him again for the rest of the day. After school as I was walking home I saw our US history teacher talking to the school cop. With her equally vegan and upset boyfriend there too. We didn't see Greg for two weeks after that. Thursday, two weeks after the incident. Greg was back. If you think he was bad after a weekend of early 2000s internet, Greg has been exposed for a full two weeks. He clearly hadn't showered, at all. He looked like he slept, ate and shat in the grey-eared hoodie. He reeked. He also added a very poorly made tail to the back. By this time we were on World War 1. The teacher decided to hold class outdoors for once to demonstrate some things. As soon as we got outside, everyone put themselves up wind of Greg. The teacher would live to regret having class outside. Everything was going fine. We were discussing the Battle of Somme in the gentle Arizona winter. Greg. What are you doing? All eyes shot to Greg to see what horror we were about to witness. Greg was digging with one hand in the soft soil. He didn't answer. Everyone turned back to our teacher. And then the digging got more ferocious. Greg. Please stop digging. The groundskeepers worked really hard to grow that grass. No answer. He kept digging. Greg. The digging intensified. Greg. Stop it. Still nothing. Mike stood up and started walking towards Greg to stop him. By this time Greg had a foot deep hole about square foot wide. Everyone stopped. Their faces when. Greg turned around. Dropped his pants. And started to poo. Oh god the stench. This is probably the first shit he had in two weeks. Everyone flipped and got as far away from him as possible. 
Greg managed to fill the entire hole up. He then lifted his pants, sniffed it, and then buried it. The 9 stroke 10 goth girl fainted. Greg got sent to the office and was sent home for the day. Friday. Greg was tolerable that day, nothing happened. The following Monday, Greg was late to class. Like really late. The poor teacher marked him absent. Halfway through the treaty of this I guess who showed up. Fucking Greg. And the horror. We didn't see it at first, or for the next 10 minutes. And then we heard it. A crunch. And not the normal granola kind. Like the wet, gross kind. The kind that something biting into a bone would make. The girl in front of Greg turned around. She flipped her shit. Greg what the fuck. Greg had a bird. A half eaten bird. He was late because of this. I was marginally impressed because he managed to catch a bird, kill it, and partially eat it. I also wanted to throw up. The teacher approached him and attempted to rescue the poor avian creature from this kid. Greg wasn't having it. He actually landed a bite on her. A bad one. Mike had enough of this shit. Before he could react though Greg threw his meal at him. The distraction worked. Greg attempted to jump over a desk. He failed and landed face first on the tile. Luckily he had enough time to get up, spit out some blood and Naruto run out of the room. Somehow, he wasn't expelled for this. Our teacher missed two weeks of school because of an infection though. About a week into our poor teacher's absence. The substitute put us in the computer lab to research some shit. She sat right behind Greg. Thanks to her fatness and her odor, she was immune to Greg's smell barrier. Our schedule was fucked that day. They were having an assembly for 8th graders that would be attending next year. So we only had our first class that day. For 8 hours. We broke for lunch. Nothing weird happened with Greg. Yet. When we got back though, shit started happening. Slowly. Everyone had the post-lunch sleepies. Half the class was napping at their terminals. The others were either working or goofing off. I was helping the 9 stroke 10 goth girl work on her horror novel. Wasn't too bad except for some grammar errors. And we were flirting. Shit was cash. The substitute fell asleep at some point, leaving Greg free to do as he pleased. And he was really pleasing himself. I happened to glance up and catch it. Poorly drawn, early 2000s furry porn. Greg was jacking it pretty hard. He must have just started because no one seems to have noticed yet. Hey, Anonymous. What are you staring at oh my god? The goth girl freaked out. This in turn drew attention to Greg. Who happened to start climaxing? The next 5 seconds was beautiful. The screaming woke up the sub. Greg panicked mid come. Instead of turning off the computer he pushed the monitor off the desk. He ended up getting cum everywhere. After this incident he was handed to the tard wranglers. He was transferred out of regular classes. But this was not the end of Wolfman Greg. We went a month without Greg shenanigans. Everything was peaceful. I even managed to sleep with the goth girl a couple of times outside of class. Greg was even allowed to join us occasionally. He was heavily guarded by a wrangler though. He didn't speak much, but we nicknamed him 8ball. 8ball didn't take Greg's shit, except for letting him growl or whine once in a while. Near the end of junior year we thought we had heard the last of Wolfman Greg. Nope. Lunchtime. I was sitting with the goth girl, Marion and her gaggle of dark brooding sisters. Had a good view of the courtyard where the other tables were at. We were talking about Poe when it happened. The doors to the tar building burst open. And there was Greg. I was horrified. I watched him sprint out, howling. Eight ball nowhere to be seen. No one really cared or noticed the horror about to happen. Greg wandered around for a bit before singling out prey. This poor shy girl named Marissa. He snuck up behind her. Oh god. He pinned her to the table. And pretended to mount her. He had his dick out and was rubbing it on the back of her sweater. Howling like a wolf the whole time. Everyone went ape shit and scattered. This had to be the final straw. This went on for what felt like forever. Eventually he came up Marissa's back. 8 ball finally showed up after getting RBs. Greg was expelled after this and labeled a sex offender. Marissa dropped out. 8 ball lost his job. That was the end of Wolfman Greg for high school. 6 months ago. It's been 15 years since seeing Greg. He had left my mind entirely. Driving through my old town to visit my folks. Then I see it. Is that? No fucking way. Holy shit. It's fucking Greg. On a vintage Vespa. I am in fucking awe that he's got a sweet scooter and I'm on a second hand liter bike. Nearly rear end a taxi. He pulls up next to me. Thankfully he doesn't recognize me. I can fucking smell him through my helmet. I nearly puke. Manage to distance myself from him and get to my parents place. Dinner is fine. 
Mom's doing great. Blah blah. Decide to meet up with some old friends for a ride. Step outside. See that fucking Vespa in the neighbor's driveway, is that? No. Ignore it and go cruise. Come home a few hours later. Vespa still there. Please no. Greg lives next door to my folks now. After talking to now 3 stroke 10 goth girl on Facebook, Greg's folks died and he inherited a large chunk of change. Bought the house next to my parents. Is a complete neat. He doesn't do anything but browse the internet probably and do wolfman things. Try to not let this crush my soul and crawl into my old bunk bed to sleep for the night. As I'm drifting off to the vow of making the goth girl of yesteryear swallow my cum and calling me her owner I hear it. It's fucking howling. God damn it Greg. My boner is ruined. It's loud too. Greg's fucking howling keeps me up until 3am. I finally fell asleep. Wake up the next morning. Go through the day with my folks a shell of my former self. That night. It happens again. The terror is replaced with rage no. Open my window. This is it. Greg. It's 11 o'clock at night. I have to go home tomorrow and I need sleep. Shut the fuck up. Slam window. It's quiet now. Fall asleep and leave the next morning. A few months later mom calls me. The cops entered Greg's home due to a smell complaint. They found Greg. Greg was dead. I inadvertently got him to kill himself. I don't know anything else. But the house was torn down. It's now an empty lot. But I, and hundreds of others still remember. Wolfman Greg. So I hope you guys have enjoyed. For me personally, I've only ever came across one furry in real life before, so I still think of them as almost like mythical creatures or an elaborate joke on the internet. And, like, you know, everyone's just laughing. It's like, oh, we're not actually real. Like, you know, who the fuck would be into this type of weird-ass shit? You know what I mean? So that's where my mind is on it. But if you ever, ever came across any furries in real life, or if you know of any... Just comment down below and let us know about them. Or, wait for it, maybe you should come join the Discord. We actually do have a furry on there at TFG. Come laugh at them. It's fucking great fun. I love it, to be honest with you. Also, be sure to check out the links for merch. Got some nice looking t-shirt designs you guys will love. This, this is, is not okay. This needs to stop now. This is cancer. This, this is so much cancer that I can feel the tumors growing on my back. And it's way down heavy on me, and it's not okay. Can you help a nigga out and just stop this? Please?